Jim Beattie. Jim designed the auto cycles and is well known in the aviation world as a airplane designer who is really ahead of his time. Jim, the auto cycle, um, really looks a lot like the BD-5. Yes, um, I guess it's a somewhat of a coincidence there. Uh, we knew the aerodynamic characteristics of the BD-5 very well, and when we were trying to design the auto cycle, we wanted to get the aerodynamics there. It's not just streamlining, but uh, how it handles and crosswinds and things like that. And so, therefore, it became a real close similarity to it. So really, the auto cycle is a totally new design. Oh yes, right. Uh, there was nothing else we could find that we could get information about. We had to, shall we say, learn on its own. And I sold a lot of the data from the BD-5 jet versions of it and so on, and a lot of stuff about motorcycles themselves and blended two technologies together. When you designed the auto cycle, really the concept was fuel mileage and the fact that uh, most cars only have one or two people in them anyway. True, that's exactly right. There was one other thing. I had a bunch of buddies who had regular bikes, and they would ride them in the summertime a few times, and they sat in the garage all winter long. And I said, gee, there's a, a beautiful power plant, a well-designed engine, transmission, lightweight wheels and brakes and so on. Why can't we have it so it can be used all year round? And at the same time, get the mileage out. So the idea was to get the aerodynamics down, get the weight down, get the performance up and be able to put two people in there and let them drive in the snow or in the rain anytime. Well, about 350 of them were built. And uh, because of the economy at the time um, and the way the world was, the factory did close. Do you see in the future, Jim, do you see maybe a renewal of the auto cycle? Oh, I, I'm quite certain it will be, yeah. It may be a slight variation is because there are some new materials and new things out, but the concept is still there. The idea of being able to have people move themselves efficiently, safely, in total comfort uh, is what the auto cycle will do. And uh, with the fuel prices as high as they are and a little chance of them going down lower, uh, there will be real need for the vehicle. Uh, you're well known with pilots really all over the world for all your designs. And uh, the Grumman Yankee, the BD-4, the BD-5. Do you have a favorite airplane that 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 you really love the, that's your design? Well, I can't really say. Each one had certain characteristics that, uh, to me as an engineer, were challenging and therefore a lot of fun. The BD-5 was so small that we, we literally had to write the books for that. But then I made a BD-10, which is two place, and used a, a big Learjet engine in it. It went Mach 0.92, uh, real high performance, very expensive but phenomenal thing. And that was a real engineering challenge because we had the same problems that you'd have in a military fighter, but we had real simplicity of controls and hydraulics and so on. And we got a couple of designs on the, on the drawing board, actually on the computer, that will look similar to this that will even be better. We might see a new auto cycle design. Well, I wouldn't call it an auto cycle, but it would be a vehicle, uh, be a vehicle that uh, maybe you can drive and fly. Jim, we appreciate you visiting us here in Marion, Indiana, at the Flying Cruise Inn, and we hope that uh, you'll consider coming back next year. Oh, absolutely! The hospitality here is just fantastic. The people are fantastic. It is an absolutely wonderful place to be. Uh, I recommend any and everybody has anything to do with auto cycles, airplanes, cars. Please come here.